guys, so some of you guys might be excited about the new crossover with House Party in Fortnite. I'm going to tell you all about it and how you can get this rainbow fog wrap. It's a cool wrap. It didn't look that great until I actually saw it in game, but guys, it's amazing. You have to see it for yourself. It's a pretty cool wrap. It might be in my top five list, especially because it's awesome. That's why I got it. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how you can get it and basically how you can video chat with your friends during Fortnite. Basically how you can see each other all on screen and have a good old time with all your good friends. But first off, guys, before we download House Party, go to settings in Fortnite, okay? Go all the way over to the audio options. This is important. Scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom. It's like right at the very bottom anyway. House Party, voice chat, make sure this is on. Anyways guys, now download House Party. And House Party is not a very large application guys. It's easy to use and you can talk to your friends without being on Fortnite as well, using video calls, etc. Next thing, open the House Party application. You'll need to sign in or sign up. I had to sign up because I'm new to this too, just like you. Anyways guys, let's get into this. So yeah, first thing you're going to notice, this little TV icon up there. You're going to want to click that guys if you want to connect to Fortnite. That's the thing we're all here for, right? We all want that rap. We all want to see our friends on screen. Next thing, guys, you'll be signing into either Epic Games or Sony or etc. You can't do it on Xbox right now. You can't do it on Nintendo Switch. can't do it anywhere besides PS4, PS5, and PC. Eventually, it will come to the Xbox, so this video might be relevant to you at a later time. So now, this part is for my Sony viewers out there. Don't try to sign into the PlayStation Network, guys. It's going to give you an air message. It's still broken. It's been broken for months. It's crazy. I don't know why they won't fix it, but you'll get this air message if you're lucky. So don't waste your time. Go right to the Epic Games, guys. This is for everybody. Sign in on Epic Games. This is the only way it's working right now. I don't know why. Epic Games is great, but Sony, you need to fix your website. Even though you don't need 2FA enabled to do this, I actually do have it enabled. So for those of you guys who have it enabled like I do, you have to go through extra steps. That's what I'm doing in this video. The reason I've got stuff blocking things on screen is because I don't want my credentials out there. And you've got to love the final step to signing into Epic Games. Which cat is standing straight up? Come on, Epic Games. So you might get into this house party thing because you're done now, guys. You did it. But you might notice that you actually probably aren't connected yet or maybe have it disabled. It says Fortnite mode is unavailable. All you need to do is basically click the button. It'll pop you up into the screen here and give you the option to basically enable or disable. And you might want to disable it from time to time. If you use house party for anything other than Fortnite, it's good to turn it off and on now and again. So the final step so we can actually be seen on camera, on screen, and be in the game of Fortnite with our friends, everyone seeing each other, is basically everyone has to have House Party, be on a PS4, PS5, or PC. Can't do it on Xbox right now, but that will change later on. So this video will still be relevant to you at a later time. But guys, once you do that, make sure you're in a party. That means, guys, everyone in the game of Fortnite has to be in a party, right? The next thing is make sure in House Party, I know a lot of party action going on, that you have everybody added in there as well, so all your friends that you're playing the game with, with in Fortnite are also in your house party friends list and make sure to accept all their friend requests. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you guys can freely join each other without any permissions. However, you can turn the, in the settings of house party, you can make it so people can only join you by request. In my video, I didn't show that. But keep in mind that is something you can turn on, but you have to go out of your way to turn it on. Now for the parents watching, if you do want parental controls on, I didn't cover that in this video. I can showcase that in a totally different video if you want. Let me know if that's important to you guys out there. If you want to see how to put some protections over your kids and make sure you know what they're up to, let me know and I'll make a whole separate video showcasing how you could do that as well. Nice and simple for you. But if you're a kid, you don't care about that. Let's get back into business here. One thing I do want to mention to you Fortnite players out there is you might have some times where the video call actually drops and it's nothing that someone did or anything like that. It just once in a while will drop off and you'll be like, why? And you might notice some drop frames and some stuttering when this happens and it's a big problem if you're in mid-fight within Fortnite. You know how that goes. A drop frame can be the end of a game you might have lost. So that's a big problem. But it doesn't happen too often guys but it will happen from time to time especially if someone's phone like goes on low battery or something like that this will happen it will drop the call to save battery on their phone but luckily guys if this does happen just go to the house party app on your phone and basically re-enable Fortnite that's all you have to do Fortnite mode would basically turn off just turn it back on it's that simple that's all you have to do every time this does happen now I know some of you guys are curious how does it feel to play with Fortnite with house party mode enabled well guys it depends on how big your TV is I'm playing on a 60 inch 4k television so for me I've got plenty of like screen real estate so I can see everything just fine but I did notice when I first started playing I felt like it was a little bit laggy but then I put the frame rate on screen and it didn't look like it dipped at all and throughout this video you guys can see for yourself it doesn't look like it goes below 60 very often so for me and after watching all the footage back I basically would say there's no latency problem there's no lag there's no nothing and unless people drop off the call then there is definitely a lag which you can see from some of that gameplay from earlier right there we got it zoomed in on the frame counter you can see it dips down a little bit and goes back up after the call has completely been disconnected but that is a huge 
huge difference there guys. Three frames dropped is a big deal in Fortnite because every frame counts. So if you're in the middle of a fight, this could be a problem for you guys. Anyways guys, so this experience I have to say is groundbreaking. It's awesome, it's fun. I, I couldn't even imagine this if this was in Season 1 or any of the other seasons of Fortnite. This would have been game changing for all my friends when we actually used to play together. This would have been great. These days I don't have anyone to play with. Hey, maybe some of you guys out there can add me. If you want to add me and basically talk on house party sometime, add Gamer Today YT. Anyways guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video and if you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below, did this video help you and if it did, let me know, I'm curious. Anyways guys, until next time, it's been Gamer Today.